guys so welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for watching my videos i have noticed that you guys have been watching these minimal list uh lifestyle videos because this is me this is my new journey that i'm taking minimalist and so um i wanted to show you a real quick um vanilla pudding that i love to make for me and babe and my kid so yeah you guys i think i was going to show you last year um but you guys it's like a whole glare right there so hold on just to see Oh, okay so i honestly thought i broke something but that's just me being silly but anyways um i was going to show you guys last year but i didn't ever get a chance to show you guys um this vanilla pudding it's more of a banana pudding but i just started calling vanilla pudding because we don't like uh, bananas um, and I only like bananas really in my smoothie. I, I don't want to see no banana. I don't want to taste the texture of the banana. And yeah, I just don't want it in my presence. But anyways, I have uh, like a new quick and easy minimal vanilla pudding that I like to make for you guys. And this is something new that I'm adding into this vanilla pudding. I normally just use the wafers, but today I'll use like some vanilla cookies in there. Um, so I want to see how that tastes. Will it give it like some kind of cakeish taste or what? But anyways, let me show you guys what I have that you will need if you want to make this uh, vanilla pudding quickly. Um, of course, you would need like a glass or a cup. Um, with my glass here, um, I know that this is on down is one cup on up is one cup so you need you're gonna need three cups of milk so a whole cup right here will be uh two cups and then just a half a cup will be uh make it will make it three cups so i got this cup here for measuring my milk and make sure your milk is cold um and not warm because we need cold milk to mix up the vanilla pudding you need a whisk of some sort i just use the whisk that goes to my mixer um, and then a spatula. This is always Cuda Brown, but this is my um, Hey There Pumpkin. I love that one. And then just a white mixing bowl. Um, and if you're interested in these bowls, I got them from Tarjay. Um, and they come in a pack of three. So they have a, a large one, a medium, and a small one. And then for the stuff you'll need for the vanilla pudding, of course, you're going to need some vanilla pudding. I just got some of our favorite, which is the great value from Walmart. And then I got some Watkins vanilla flavoring there. And then I have some numb neg because I'm going to put that into the whipped cream. And then I have some great value vanilla wafers. They are our favorite as well. And they do have like mini ones. Um, but I like the bigger ones because they work a little bit more bigger. Or work, I'm sorry, work a little bit more better, better. Then I have some great value whipped topping here. And that's going to go into our pudding mix. And then I got some great value 2% milk. That's the only thing I can drink. It's part milk, part water. Um, so, and then... I have this little container here. I think I've hauled this before, but this is from Target. I really love it for our pudding. Um, so I have some cookies here. I didn't count how many cookies, but if you was to get this lovely container from Target, um, it just I just fill up the whole bottom uh, with cookies. So yeah. Like I said, this is something new, adding the cookies in. Um, I was going to take all the cream out, but I was like, you know what? We're going to leave the cream in because I want to see how that's going to work out. So I'm going to uh, push the camera down and show you guys everything. I have some lint on me. So I'm going to get my bowl. And I'm honestly going to go ahead and um, measure out my milk. So 
So this is two cups of milk. Put that in my bowl. I should have used the bigger bowl. Yeah. And then I'm going to go in with some more milk. And that's three. And that took all the milk. <laughs> but this is going to be well worth it. It's going to be really good. I'm going to put my cup over in the kitchen sink. You want to make sure you have everything on hand and everything sitting beside you. Now, you don't have to make this whole package, but I'm not going to make any more vanilla pudding for a while. So, I'm going to go ahead and use all this so we can enjoy it. So the thing is, you're supposed to you're supposed to whisk whisk it until you get like a thick consistency. So I want to show you really quick. Um, it looks like it's watery on camera, but once you start feeling that that push, that like it's. Uh, you have to constantly like kind of push that vanilla around. Go ahead and get your spoon and try it out. Once you have that thick consistency, consistency like that, um, you know you've done the job. So this is how you want it. That forceful push just means that you've done the job. So what I do with my little spatula is that I use it to uh, this spatula. I use this one to mix and I use this one to just pretty much put the whipped cream inside of the pudding. I don't measure how much whip I just put in there. You guys, if y'all have never tried Walmart's uh, whip topping cream, it is so good. Oh my gosh. So you just want to mix all that in. If it all don't mix in like properly, it's okay. And I think that's enough whipping. Just two scoops of whipping. That's how much I put in there. Okay, so I like to put some vanilla into my mixture. So I'm gonna put I normally uh, count, I normally don't count, but to the L count, just for you guys can and I use my top. You can use like a teaspoon, your measuring spoons, but I like to use my top because I don't want to go over. So that's one. Capful, two, capful, three, capful, and four capful. So four capfuls of vanilla. I don't like to like go over, but I'll just like combine it all in. Mix it all in. Just make sure that the vanilla gets an all the pudding mixture, the cream mixture, no nothing out. Cause honey, if it don't taste like vanilla <laughs> and it just tastes like regular pudding, uh -uh. I don't want it. <laughs> she said she don't want it. No, she said she don't want it. So don't give it to her. <laughs> tastes really good you are more than welcome to lick this bowl when I'm done okay so what I'm going to do we already got the cookies in there I'm going to move this out the way or just sit it right there okay. we already got the cookies in the bottom but I want to add 
some extra cookies, which will be our vanilla wafers. Remember to save some vanilla wafers for the ending part because you have to crush them up and put them on top. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in the bottom of this bowl thing here. Honestly, I don't think it's no type of way that you're supposed to lay the vanilla wafers. You can lay them face up, face, face down, however you want. But I just think it's more... Um, better with them face down if you want to add more vanilla wafers you can but this is just my first set of wafers so normally when I'm not using these cookies we're just trying to test this little recipe out because sometimes y'all when they just have the vanilla wafers in it like, it don't taste like, I don't know, I don't know if it's supposed to taste like anything, but I want mine to be like cakey, you know what I mean, like cakey. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this in. It's very, very silky. And then you just take the same spatula. Um, spatula and let me turn this over like that so you guys can see and then um, spread out the pudding mixture evenly if you got more on one side just kind of push it to the next end I'm going to actually put some more. Because I want to cover up them cookies. So we can go to the next layer. This time I just go like this once I'm done with that first layer. This is just going to be like a two layer, a two layer um, pudding. Okay, so I'm going to put some more uh, cookies on top. And it's quite easy to do that. You just kind of go in a line. From side to side, push the cookies down just to make sure they can connect with the pudding mixture. Make sure everything is together and tight. So, I finished up doing that and I put cookies at the bottom. Then I put a few cookies at the top. Um, what I'm going to do now is what I always do. I'm going to go over here and wash this spatula. So we, I want to let you guys know right now that we norm, I normally keep this in the refrigerator for like a day and a half. Or at least try to keep it in the refrigerator for a day and a half. Um, until I start noticing some of it been missing. <laughs> so, um, it's better to keep it in there for at least a day or a day and a half so that the vanilla wafers and the cookies can, um, basically soak up some of that, um, can soak up some of the pudding mixture. So I'm going to go in and put my whip in there. And then I'm going to add, you can mix it inside, add my numb neck, you can add cinnamon, but I love me some numb neck, it's 
more better and it tastes really good and it's not too strong and so I'm just gonna spread this all out like so And then I'm going to put the rest of the mixture on top. So now I'm going to go in with the rest of the mixture. It's a lot, y'all. <laughs> I'm sure we won't eat all this, so I'll take some of the moms, too. Because I don't think mom has my, had my vanilla pudding. Um, I think I've told her about it, but I don't think I've shared any with her. It just doesn't last. <laughs> it doesn't last, y'all. So I made this big one because I wanted her to be able to have some. And um, once babe get into it, that's the it. That is all. That's all. That's it. That's all. <laughs> so you want to smooth that top portion out. Okay. Y'all have been really like, mm, it's so good. So. I'm gonna add some more numbnag on the top of this. Just a little bit. We ain't gonna go heavy. Okay. <clears throat> and I'm gonna add some more cookies, but what I'm gonna do is take some and tip them up. We're gonna chip them up on the top. This is how I like to do it. I really don't like all the big ones in there. Just spread it. You can put however much you want on top. Me personally, <laughs> I like a lot of vanilla wafer cookie crunch on top. It just makes the vanilla pudding the best. <laughs> If you have a food processor, I haven't used my fruit, my new fruit processor, but if you have a fruit processor, this would be a great time to use that fruit processor to chip up your um, vanilla wafers. But this, I ain't ready to use my food processor just yet. But when I do, y'all will be invited. The first thing I think I'm going to make is the uh, potato I got, the cheese potato I got. I'm going to dice those um, potatoes. Well, let the chopper, the uh, processor chop them up in there. But yeah. If you want a little bit more of the cookie on top, like I said, I like a lot. I'm going to put like two more on top. <laughs> it seems like a whole lot right now. Make sure you get the corners because a lot of people love the corners. I've noticed. Sis, go ahead and pack that down. Just use the the um your hand to do it. Get some of that good cookie crunch in there. Press that down so that the top layer of cookie can get in there. And guess what? You made your minimalist <laughs> banana pudding. <clears throat> Minus the banana because we don't like banana. Um, remember, you have cookies. You have vanilla wafers. You have your uh, vanilla and cream mixture. You have your next um, batch of vanilla 
wafer cookies. These are just two layers of pudding. And then you have your cream, you have your vanilla, and then you have your top, which is your cookie crumble. And yes, they look so good. I'm going to put the top on it. Again, you can leave it in the fridge for like a day and a half or just a day, depending on how you want your um, cookies to be softened. So yeah, this is what it looks like on the bottom. If y'all can see that, see that? <laughs> so it really hasn't soaked in just yet. So I'm going to put this in the fridge. And... let that sit for like a day I'm gonna clean up get this kitchen nice and clean and then I'm gonna start working on another video for next Wednesday Thursday and Friday so I can be up to date because I know today is Friday and I put out Thursday's video today too so I gotta put out Fridays today too as well so I wanted something really short that I can just edit and get out to you guys but anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you watched all the way this far, thank you so much. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe, thumbs up, and turn on all post notifications so that whenever I upload a video, you will definitely get it into your notification bar um, on your phone, on your laptop, on your TV. <laughs> um, so yeah, anyways, I gotta go. Bye.